Okay, it's toilet time. It's time to see if I can get these rust stains out here. I'm going to try and remove them. I'm going to take the water out. Water out of the tank and water out of the bowl. So definitely have some rust in there. No big deal. I mean, uh, it's the original toilet and it's long before I put a house filter on which only removes sediment. Uh, so anyway, uh, oh, I gotta take those uh, chlorine tabs out of there. I'm gonna try this Santine solution and I actually uh, read the directions. So I need to get the chlorine tab out of the way and um, I will use it in accordance with the instructions. And I was worried how I was going to do underneath, but it said right in the instructions to use uh, duct tape. So you tape it all up, pour it into the center spout here, and that will fill it up. It will take the rust out of the rim in here. So uh, we'll do that. And uh, time to get started. I'm not going to videotape... Uh, but getting all the water out of there. Alright, so I'm going to take my inspection mirror so I don't have to stick my head in the toilet here and check to make sure I have all of the uh, holes plugged, so I'm going to do that. Alright, so I did my inspection and I did see one spot that I needed to redo and then over here where the rust is coming out I saw that the tape is kind of covering some of the spots up at the top uh, you won't see them or I'll get them later after I take the tape off uh, that created these drip marks to begin with and then also I noticed on the instructions there's actually uh, three sets of instructions there is a regular maintenance kind of homeowner kind of thing and then there is uh, you know a more thorough deep cleaning and then they have what they call like you know professional plumber experience uh, kind of uh, instructions here so I'm gonna be kinda like doing a little bit of both of these and what it boils down to is we're going to pour some down the spout to fill up the rim to start getting that rust and I'm gonna put a little bit on a rag and I'll put my gloves on put a little bit on a rag and uh, take these out and I'm going to put some in the tank and uh, let, let that soak. So that's what I'm going to do. Alright, well this product contains hydrochloric acid which I'm not as scared of that as hydrofluoric acid. So uh, I really, I don't want to go near hydrofluoric acid. I just never have liked that stuff. Uh, I consider it extremely dangerous uh, but anyway so this doesn't look too bad to me and uh, we'll begin with the pour to fill up the top of the uh, toilet here I know the duct tape is kind of a distraction here plus it's wet and the drips not really cleaning see that one spot see that it's fading so I'll just go ahead and keep doing that till it's gone alright we're gonna call that good and there is a little bit that's the tape there is a little bit of a ring around here I mean we're talking 24 years this toilet is like 24 years old uh, I know the camera's not going to pick it up too well, and there's a lot of shadowing going on and whatnot, but anyway, I just see a little bit of a ring. Let's see if I can get it. Right in here. Tried wiping it down, really didn't come off. It's very minor. Overall, you really, it's really not prominent. All right, so now tape's coming off.
get my inspection mirror and see what we got. Now just because of camera angles and whatnot like that, you know, I can only zoom in on one at a time. So here's my sample, if you will. So you can see the hole is nice and clean. I'm going to fill up the toilet and flush it and then I'm going to use the rest of the container to clean the tank with because it says to let it soak for 15 uh, 20 minutes something like that I'll read the instructions again <laughs> and uh, we'll see what it does for the tank alright we're filling the tank and uh, you can see it's flushing the ring here and it's making the water a little bit dirty and it's filling up the trap so uh, I'll let that fill up and then we'll flush it with the water off all right, now this is a flush with the water on, so I'm not going to have a fill situation. All right, so normally while the tank is filling, you know, the bottom would fill up. And it looks fairly clean. All right, now I'm going to clean out the bottom of the tank. Uh, there's some Clorox tabs, uh, debris in there. Make sure all the uh, chlorine is out of there. Uh, clean it up and then I'll fill it up. Alright, I'm going to wipe as much of this rust off as going to come off just by hand pressure here, water and rag. And, uh, so the chemical doesn't have to work on every single thing. Clean that up. Okay, so I think in a perfect world, I'd just take the tank off and clean it outside or something. But anyway, I just removed the flapper and wiped all around as best I could. Here, I'll take a look at it. There you go. And I'll put this back on. I think I'm going to flush it a couple of times just to get out the rust that came off just from the physical wipe. I'm going to clean that up a little bit because as you know not 100% of the water goes out when you flush so I'm going to flush it a couple of times and do that. Well that's different just wiping it out. Well sorry to disappoint you but I decided not to uh, pour the rest of that in there to get up that little bit of rust. It looks fine to me, uh, just wiping it out. Uh, the rust that you see in there uh, wouldn't come off with the rag and hand pressure, uh, but it looks definitely brighter with just uh, wiping it with a rag, so I, I think I'm going to let that go. toilet itself looks better, still needs another flush, that was the initial dirty water flush. So let me uh, flush it and uh, uh, fill it back up again. And I'll cut to the chase. Alright, definitely uh, seems cleaner. I'll look at, show you the rust stains that are gone now. Alright, I think I'm going to make this the final shot. So it definitely took out the little streaks that were on there. Yeah, I don't see any real heavy ring marks on this side. The other side is kind of a shadow, the way the lights are in the bathroom. You know, it's not super bright in here. So, we're going to call it a day. Thank you for watching.